Hi, this is James from Empire Within, and you're watching Local Band Smoke Out. Right, what's up, Stoners? Welcome to the Local Band Smoke Out. I'm your host, the Most BG, and today we have a wait skip from Sumptus Ignis. This one's called December's End Redo. They're at a Key Largo slash on Orlando, Florida. A little bit of both. I actually used to live in Orlando, Florida, not too long ago. Uh, like 11 years ago, 12 years ago. Facebook.com slash Sumptus Ignis. The album drops tomorrow. So be sure to pick it up if you enjoy the song. This is Progressive Extreme Metal. It's a little bit of a longer one, so uh, make sure you're ready to get super stoned. Let's check it out. Sumptus Ignis, December's End Redo. This is the guitar playthrough. Spark it up, you got it. Cars are like super chunky and full. You hear how they're like spread. I wasn't expecting it to be this when I first started. You hear those kind of vocals on it. It's kind of like eerily sucking me in. Coke and whiskey. For the song's so long, I brought a pack of beer. Yeah, this dually guitar harmony sound cool. Trying to figure out what that is on his arm, on his sleeve right there. I see the snowflake. I think that was a snowflake. But what is that with the snowflake? It's like a little chain. The song appears to be like kind of built around the complexity of the guitar. Oh, it looks like it's like a either a handcuff or a magnifying glass by the way. Super distorted evil vocals. Definitely progressive, it's changing all kinds of ways. Yeah, I wonder 
sure if that's the woman doing the screen. Woo! Cool little fill right there on the drum. Sumptus Ignis, which I wonder what that band name even means. Guys, please comment what that band name means and how you came up with it. I'm really interested to know. December's N Redo. Those guys are split. There's some of them around at Key Largo, some of them around Orlando, both in Florida. Facebook.com slash Sumptus Ignis. Album comes out tomorrow. I'm going to go 8.3 out of 10. I thought uh, it was cool how the whole song builds around how crazy and complex the uh, the guitars go. Some really, really dope drum fills. The drums sounded pretty good on the recording. I thought the vocals sounded like a little off at times. Like it was almost like recorded somewhere different. Um, I thought there could have been a little more belting. It would, it would be really awesome to find out if it was her doing those like super evil, crazy screams when they were all like distorted at that one part. Um, that would be a nice little fun fact to know. But yeah, other than that, I thought it was awesome how it just kind of like takes you on a journey the whole song, around, and it's all built around what the guitarist is doing. Um, which, by the way, what is that on your on your wrist right here? It looked like a handcuff or something, but just confirm for me. I'm always curious to know what people's tattoos are. I have a lot of tattoos myself. But yeah, overall, man, I enjoyed it. So I'm going to go 8.3 out of 10. Would you have gone higher or lower? Let me know in the comments below. Guys, please pick up the album. It comes out tomorrow. Facebook.com slash Sumptus Ignis. Uh, and that was called December's End Redo. And that was the guitar playthrough for it. Thank you guys for hopping to skip the wait. They skipped about 70 bands by doing that, um, and that means I have to shoot their episode immediately. Other than that, guys, I am your host. It's Highland Most BG saying cheers. Keep blazing and peace.